Growing up in the public school system from kindergarten to the sixth grade in Lakewood, Colorado, I've made many friends due to my friendliness and assertiveness. I would ask the other kids to play tag with me or share jokes that I thought were funny with the class. When it was time to get paired up among groups or to share our input, I was always looked over. You see, in a class of 110 students, I was the only Asian kid in my grade. Because of this, it was hard for other people to relate to me due to cultural differences. The teachers and staff would also forget I was a student among the class. Due to stigmatization, people would have misconceptions of who I really am. People thought I was a stereotypical Asian who was silent when being picked on or because I don't like to cause trouble. In the second grade, as a class, we were in the library. I accidentally bumped into a kid, causing him to hit his head on the table. He stood up and told the teacher that I assaulted him. With this invisible cloak hanging on me 24-7, no one came to my rescue. Later that year, a kid came up to me and called my mom a fat ass. Without no hesitation, I said, I will knock your teeth out if you say that again. Later that day, I would be spending time and having lunch in the school office while all the other kids went out to play. I did not belong with these kids or school, and this was because of the skin I was born into. No one there acknowledged me or cared to listen to what I have to say. I was in a math class and presented a solution to the problem and the teacher didn't even acknowledge me. Was I too quiet? Did I have the wrong answer? But the student two seats away from me restated my solution and he's the genius of the day. At first, I was angry about the situation. The blood running throughout my body began to boil and I cannot wrap my head around the problem. Then, I felt a numbness every time the situation occurred because how often it was happening. It happened so many times that there was no reason to even argue with the problem. With every horrific event that has happened in my life, it has made my soul stronger. I would be loud and confident and fall under this blanket of unseen. Now I ask you a question. Do you see me now?